Now east is east, and west is west, and never the twain shall meet, till earth and sky stand presently at God's great judgment seat. But there is neither east nor west, border nor breed nor birth, when two strong men stand face to face, that they come from the ends of the earth. Kamal is out with twenty men to raise the border side, and he has lifted the colonel's mare that is the colonel's pride. He has lifted her out of the stable door between the dawn and the day, and turned the colkins upon her feet and ridden her far away. Then up and spoke the colonel's son that led a troop of the guides, Is there never a man of all my men can say where Kamal hides? Then up and spoke Mohammed Khan, the son of the Rasuldar, If ye know the track of the morning mist, you'll know where his pickets are. At dusk he harries the Abba's eye, at dawn he is into Bonaire, but he must go by Fort Buclou to his own place to fare. So if you gallop to Fort Buclou as fast as a bird can fly, by the favour of God you may cut him off ere he win to the tongue of Jagai. But if he be past the tongue of Jagai, right swiftly turn ye then, for the length and breadth of that grisly plain is sown with Kamal's men. There is rock to the left, and rock to the right, and low lean thorn between, and ye may hear a breech bolt click when never a man is seen. The colonel's son has taken a horse, and a raw rough dun was he, with the mouth of a bell, and the heart of hell, and the head of the gallows tree. The colonel's son to the fort has won, they bid him stay to eat. Who rides at the tail of a border thief, he sits not long at his meat. He's up and away from Fort Buclou as fast as he can fly, till he was aware of his father's mare in the gut of the tongue of Jagai, till he was aware of his father's mare with Kamal upon her back, and when he could spy the white of her eye, he made the pistol crack. He has fired once, he has fired twice, but the whistling ball went wide. You shoot like a soldier, Kamal said. Show now if ye can ride. It's up and over the tongue of Shagai as the blown dust devils go. The dun he fled like a stag of ten, but the mare like a barren doe. The dun he leaned against the bit and slugged his head above, but the red mare played with a snaffle bars as a maiden plays with a glove. There was rock to the left and rock to the right and low lean thorn between, and thrice he heard a breech bolt snick, though never a man was seen. They have ridden the low moon out of the sky, their hooves drum up the dawn. The dun he went like a wounded bull, but the mare like a new roused fawn. The dun he fell at a watercourse, in a woeful heap fell he. A Kamal has turned the red mare back and pulled the rider free. He has knocked the pistol out of his hand, small room was there to strive. "'Twas only by favour of mine, quoth he, you rode so long alive." There was not a rock for twenty miles, there was not a clump of tree, but covered a man of my own men with his rifle cocked on his knee. If I had raised my bridle hand, as I have held it low, the little jackals that flee so fast were feasting all in a row. If I had bowed my head on my breast, as I have held it high, the kite that whistles above us now were gorged till she could not fly. Lightly answered the colonel's son, do good to bird and beast, but count who come for the broken meats before thou makest a feast. If there should follow a thousand swords to carry my bones away, belike the price of a jackal's meal were more than a thief could pay. They will feed their horse on the standing crop, their men on the garnered grain. The thatch of the bars will serve their fires when all the cattle are slain. But if thou thinkest the price be fair, Thy brethren wait to sup. The hound is kin to the jackal's spawn. Howl dog and call them up. And if thou thinkest the price be high in steer and gear and stack, give me my father's mare again, and I will fight my own way back. Kamal has gripped him by the hand and set him upon his feet. No talk should be of dogs, said he, when wolf and grey wolf meet. May I eat dirt if thou hast hurt of me in deed or breath. What dam of lances brought thee forth to jest at dawn with death? Lightly answered the colonel's son, I hold by the blood of my clan. Take up the mare for my father's gift, by God she has carried a man. The red mare ran to the colonel's son, 
and nuzzled against his breast. We be two strong men, said Kamal then, and she loveth the younger best. So she shall go with the lifter's da, my turquoise studded wren, my broidered saddle and saddle cloth and silver stirrups twain. The colonel's son a pistol drew and held it muzzle end. Ye have taken the one from a foe, said he. Will ye take the mate from a friend? A gift or a gift, said Kamal straight, a limb for the risk of a limb. Thy father has sent his son to me, I will send my son to him. And with that he whistled his only son that dropped from a mountain crest. He trod the ling like a buck in spring, and he looked like a lance in rest. Now here is thy master, Kamal said, who leads the troop of the guides, and thou must ride at his left side as shield on shoulder rides. Till death or I cut loose the tie, at camp and board and bed, thy life is his, thy fate it is to guard him with thy head. So thou must eat the white queen's meat, and all her foes are thine, and thou must harry thy father's hold for the peace of the border line, and thou must make a trooper tough, and hack thy way to power, be lake they will raise thee to Resuldar when I am hanged in Peshwar. They have looked each other between the eyes, and there they found no fault. They have taken the oath of the brother in blood on leavened bread and salt. They have taken the oath of the brother in blood on fire on fresh cut sod, on the hilton half to the Khyber Naif, and on the wondrous names of God. The colonel's son, he rides the mare, and Kamal's boy the dun, and two have come back to Fort Buclou, where there went forth but one. And when they drew to the quarter guard, full twenty swords flew clear. There was not a man but carried his fuel to the blood of the mountaineer. Hard done, hard done, said the colonel's son. Put up the steel at your side. Last night ye had struck at a border thief. Tonight is a man of the guides. O oh, east is east, and west is west, and never the two shall meet till earth and sky stand presently at God's great judgment seat. But there is neither east nor west, border nor breed nor birth, when two strong men stand face to face, though they come from the ends of the earth.